Max Verstappen's drama with Mercedes has been further fueled by Joss Verstappen's comments, who is known to be the spokesperson when it comes to Max's decisions in his career. But after the power struggle in Red Bull seemingly nearing an end, and with Newey's reports to be leaving the team after this campaign, it's safe to say that Max's contract with Red Bull until 2028 is anything but safe. With Mercedes arranging a meeting with Verstappen after the Miami GP and calling all three of their shareholders to attend, could we see a massive shake-up in the driver's market from 2025 onwards? Jos Verstappen has opened up about the future of his son Max and Adrian Newey when it comes to the 2025 season. And although the Dutchman refused to say anything when it comes to the 65-year-old mastermind, saying that it is a decision he cannot affect, his words were not so neutral when it comes to his son. Elaborating on this matter, Jos went on to say, I think everyone really wants Max and I think he is in a good place at the moment. He has a fast car, but we also have to look look further. We are also looking at 2026, so we are letting everything come to us. We will remain very calm and see what will happen. This is by far the biggest hint that Joss could have dropped when it comes to Verstappen's future with Red Bull, and by doing that, he might have given us an answer that the power struggle in Red Bull, in which he was so vocal about the instability under Horner's reign, might not be the only issue that his son would see as the primary reason to leave the team. The 2026 regulations are supposed to shake up the entire grid and bring another pecking order to the sport, but judging by Hamilton's departure from Mercedes, it seemed from the surface that the Silver Arrows might not be in the best position when it comes to fighting up at the front. That would be up to Wolf and Mercedes to prove, and after the Miami GP, it has been reported that Max Verstappen will have a meeting with Mercedes, something that we could have taken a mild guess after the lengthy conversations that Joss Verstappen and Toto Wolf had during the Saudi Arabian GP when all of the drama in Red Bull started to unfold. However, the current situation has been aided by Newey's alleged decision to call it quits after 18 years in Red Bull and seek a new home, which would definitely be a huge factor in Verstappen's departure, as the three-time world champion said that it is extremely important for him to continue with the current structure heading into the 2026 season. Of course, engineers come and go, but none of them is nearly as important as Newey. Despite Horner's comments that the influence of the 65-year-old has been very much insignificant on the RB20 and has been reduced by 50% on the RB19. Regardless, the high interest for Newey goes to show that he is definitely an integral piece of the recent Red Bull success, whether Horner likes it or not. And it could be his very own ego that would essentially see Red Bull headed into their grave earlier than expected. But what is the offer that could start the domino effect from Max Verstappen? Reports suggest that Mercedes are willing to offer as much as 100 million euros per season for Verstappen's services, but judging by Max's current contract as well as his lifestyle, he would be much more interested in other aspects from Mercedes, although of course money will still play a huge role in where he ends up from 2025 onwards. Apart from the financial factor with which Mercedes won't bother negotiating that much, there is one role that could see Verstappen think twice before saying no to to a struggling squad like Mercedes is right now. The ambassadorial role. This is something that they were not ready to give to the man who won six drivers' championships with them, Hamilton, and it was probably the last straw that led him to seek a new home in Ferrari. And on the other hand, drivers like Verstappen are always looking for challenges. So if we're to look at what he's achieved in Red Bull so far, winning 50% of the races from the 2019 Chinese GP onwards and utterly dominating the current era, it could very well mean a new challenge in his career that he would be willing to take under the right circumstances. What Mercedes are also doing is accepting Max's loyalty as a special gift, meaning that they are willing to take Helmut Marko into the team if that is what the Dutchman wants, apart from the engineers that would also help Mercedes find more performance from 2025 onwards. But it seems like Max will be asking for more guarantees that Mercedes has what it takes to turn their fortunes around as early as 2025, or definitely 
from 2026 onwards, which is why the team is ready to give him the opportunity to bring as many engineers as possible from the Milton Keynes squad who are loyal to him and to his driving style. Obviously, to say that both Newey and Verstappen would be joining Mercedes is quite a far-fetched scenario. Verstappen himself hasn't spoken about this matter, but this should not be taken as a joke or a rumour because we must remember the statements from Joss Verstappen. Under the reign of Helmut Marko, there will be a lot of unrest in Red Bull while Horner remains in charge. And it seems like this is the threat that Wolf is clinging on to when it comes to bringing Verstappen to the team. When talking about this matter further, Wolf acknowledged that in order for them to bring the Dutchman to the team, they would have to have a very promising offer on the table and one that would need a strong backup, not just a pure promise based on words. Adding to this, Wolf said, There are so many factors that play a role in a driver joining and clearly when you look at it from the most rational point of view, you can say that it is the quickest car in the hands of the quickest driver. But I don't think that this is the only reason you stay where you are. Maybe there are some more depths to some people that consider other factors too. And I think Max has that. Even though Horner's fierce comments towards Wolf were labelled as more than enough when it comes to Verstappen staying in Red Bull, the reports for the meeting in Miami came after it, meaning that even the Brit is not 100% sure right now that the three-time world champion will see the end of his contract with the Austrian squad, and that is 2028. The regulation era will be massively shifting from the current downforce preference to the engine and battery, meaning that the cars will produce 40% less downforce and will be massively relying on the power and reliability of the engine as well as the battery unit. This is something that even Horner admitted to having deficit compared to, for example, Ferrari, who are 70 years ahead of the Austrian squad in this regard. When you look at it from a neutral point of view, despite Red Bull developing their own powertrain unit that they're racing with from 2022 onwards, it is supported by Honda's intellectual property, meaning that from 2026, Red Bull will be solely on their own, while Honda will be giving their services to Aston Martin. Newey's situation is also not helping Red Bull because even though he initially stated that his loyalty would remain with them when the power struggle happened, it might have changed the narrative a little bit after the latest development of events. Right now, people close to the British mastermind stated that he's ready to leave the team from which he has been heavily disappointed in terms of the leadership. And the question remains to be answered. Did Red Bull impose this on themselves by trying to move up a couple of pieces in the ownership? And is this the perfect scenario of karma coming around and biting you in the back? Automotor and sports journalist Michael Schmidt strongly suggested that Newey's exit clause with Red Bull will be worked on, as the last thing that the 65-year-old wants is to be part of a team that struggles with internal politics, which might be one of the reasons he'll be ready to move to Italy and work for Ferrari. This was, paradoxically enough, the primary reason why he denied a hefty offer from Ferrari back in the COVID-19 days, something he talked about in his book. So based on this you could understand how big of an impact the entire Red Bull situation has had on the team. With all this in mind, do you think that Verstappen will succumb to this challenge and accept the role of bringing back the glory in Mercedes, cementing himself as one of the greatest drivers in the sport at such a young age? Or do you think that he will see the end of his contract at Red Bull before he makes any decision on his further career? Let us know in the comments below and once you've done that, Check out the video that's appearing on your screen right now.